Hello, Stars and Nighties, and those in between. I am Prism Samurai, and welcome back to Vampire. Now, where we last left off, we were. We just got through joining this club here, Club Ascalon. Now, I have to. Is outside almost every night coordinating our defenses. Interesting. Can you let me speak, please? We have to talk to Lord Redgrave. Lord Redgrave can play with that went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, mm -hmm. and your findings were quite alarming. Do you know it? Do, Do you know, know Edgar? Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings. Why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? Okay. You were spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. He started it. You do know I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Yeah, I took him down while I was underleveled. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bansha was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No. That's true. He was a Volkod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. I see. No, that's not the one I think looks like a werewolf. The other ones do. Yes, yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both okay. mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease Just the situation, the British we must eradicate the scowls. Scowls are malevolent? What? Some scowls are peaceful. Yeah, that is true. I have met peaceful and wise scowls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Scowls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So. What do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. All right. Oh boy, now what? Oh, okay. Miss Mariah's level went up. Cool. Family portraits. Cool. I guess I am done in here. Unless I can talk. I don't really want to talk to everybody. There's too many people to talk to. Conversation should usually drag on. Uh, hello? Take it, hunters try to enter here. Healthy. I would hope so. Okay. I'm gone. Alright. Question citizens about the infection. 
I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Yeah, that we kind of already knew. Where was that guy over there? How'd you get all the way over here? Ah, it's a shop. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. That is true. I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Cool. Uh... I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. I see. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Okay. What do you have? I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Alright. Some of these things are could be useful. Coding. These are useful. I buy multiple levels. Oh, I don't have a lot of money. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. Okay, a lot of money. Need them to upgrade my weapons and such. West End. Wait, are you healthy? Yeah, you're good. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Uh, a little bit. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend, Clarence? Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God! So you survived the war too? So sorry, I didn't recognize you at first. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. Don't look at my eyes. In my case, it was true. For I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Uh, how's your wife? How's your wife? Venus. We've spent so much time away from each other. And so many things have happened. She move on. But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Uh, well, neither am I. Uh. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. If you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny. Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Ah. Sorry to hear that. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. That is true. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Malanies. Yes? What about the Malanies? What about that house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. That is a little suspicious. Especially for children. When did you escape the war? To London. You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. Uh, I'm involved right now. in another kind of battle now. Uh, I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. A little bit. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. Which would be? 
They're everywhere. Ah. Vampires. Okay. If only you knew your friend is a vampire. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Um, oh, he has a migraine. Do I have anything Good for evening, that? Old I, won't... I do. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? It's the only time I can come out. Here you go. What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. Um. You need some rest, Clarence. Okay, you should be recovering now. Yeah. How did I get so much X XP? Well, my abilities are starting to cost a lot more, so I need as much as I can get. Some funky music playing. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. What aren't they always out there? They are some strong hunters. I'm gonna go there in a little bit. For now, I want to explore a little more. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I heard someone coughing. Heard him? Can't see him. Hello. Good evening, miss. Something Can wonky going on with your skirt. I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. They are healthy. Um. Yeah, what happened what to you? Happened to you? The rats. Hides in their little crunchy bones, their juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. I believe you might be infected with vampirism. Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes! Please! Help! Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me, or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Doctor. Oh my, oh my. Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was... strong. Proud. I campaigned for good causes. But that was before... before... It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. Okay. What is the local news here about, Miss Billow? Shadows. Shadows hunting shadows. Whispers in the dark. Pestilence. Suffering. Death. Okay. So she's either going mad or she's infected. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it. I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. 
not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, no life left. Thank you. Go now. Goodbye, Miss Miller. So she might end up turning into a gal or something. I mean, yeah, I feed on rats too, but that's because I don't have nothing to feed on around. Does that mean you don't leave any for me, lady? Rude. Clarence. Hello, Clarence. Uh -huh. So they gave me a few locations to houses. Let's check them out here. Come on, there you go. Family portrait. Okay, they gave me two locations. One of them has hunters, I believe. I don't think they're just gonna answer my questions and not try to kill me, so... I have to do this the hard way. The power of the Lord Ah, crap. Get that away from me, please. Oh boy. Dude, I don't know why you're here. Anyway, I took down the ones I needed to take down. Quarantine. I need blood. Come on, Jonathan. You saw me. Ow! Really? him down. I should end that. Now, do one of you have anything here? No? Of course not. Ah. 
That's what you get for not shutting your mouth. Is it only you? Who are you alerting then? This is despicable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have this thirst for blood. Come here. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. Well, everything over here is over leveled, so. This is I mean, how many rats are there? I beat on one and now I come back. I have this thirst for blood. Did I. Would you guys stop spawning? So she said there was a house with a lot of rats. Here we go. Nice. Got something there. I'm gonna take all your stuff. For... This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Okay. Cardi is still in the house. It should be. Don't attack me when I'm looting, please. It's kind of creepy. All right. Give me all them loot. What is that? I don't know what that is. It says someone pooped on a bed or something. Hello? Oh, there's another body here. He had his tongue removed and his Ow. eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. That's gruesome. Okay, well, so far I found a lot of dead bodies. This is either. I think this is a. I'm seeing here, not a. It's another this body. This neck is broken. He was young, probably the son. So, mommy and daddy and little boy are dead. By whom? They were killed. I'm not gonna run into a giant guy again, am I? That would suck. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. Oh, crud. Did you just spit up? He's spitting at me, lady. That's rude. to get hit by her.
Come on. Oh, you tricky. That's good. Okay, I'm good. I've never seen such a radical mutation. Oh, Could it be she exploded. She was the equivalent to a boomer. She leave anything behind? A letter. So, acting this school. girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Doris Fletcher. Is that a name I'm going to need to remember? She scared the hell out of me, but we got it. All is well. All is done. Okay, I got all the stuff that I saw here. And we can get out of here. Your blood trail there. Can't tell if this blood trail is leading me to another location. Oh boy. I don't have enough health for this. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's a nope. I need a safe house. Is there a safe house around here? There is. I want that, please. I'm gonna nope out of that situation. I'll come back when I am strong enough. Everyone's so chatty here. Screaming and shouting and screaming and shouting. And trying to kill me. Is this... What is this? It's a house, obviously. Be Red's... Oh, oh, I'm home. I am home. Hello. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you would... Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, Avery. I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral. Right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? Around. We needed you here. Uh, how's Mummy? How is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid, sir. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What happened? Miss Reed was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. I see. Has she received appropriate medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. I see. Perhaps we could arrange a short trip. Somewhere sunny, like France. She has always been very fond of France. I think leaving London could do her good. I'm afraid Miss Reed is too frail for the moment. Recently, she started going out at night without remembering it. I have to watch her carefully. Uh, yeah. About I'm Mary's sorry funeral. I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I am sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. I was there. Twice. How are you? You're healthy, okay. What is the situation in this part of town? 
For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. Okay. Uh... Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go, and I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house huh. is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir, so my task is not over. I see. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Don't talk like that. Do you really think I don't take enough care of my mother, Avery? Yes, I do, Mr. Jonathan. You clearly have something more to say. Speak your mind, Avery. I know you work hard to help the sick, but what will you do once the epidemic is over? Uh. My home is here, and I have nowhere else to go. But this house will need some improvements if I move here. Some radical changes. That's good news. Whatever changes you have in mind, I'm sure we will find an arrangement that suits your mother also. Yeah, okay. I'm currently investigating sources of the epidemic in this part of town. Do you know anything useful? Not really, except all the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. <laughs> they feared becoming infected, they said. The McPherson's? Where do they live? I think it's a rich house near the railway bridge in the southern part of the district. Okay, clearly you have to go to the south part of the district. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. I'll try. I'm glad you're healthy. Okay, you're here. Where's mom? So if I just loot stuff, it's fine. Some of it is mine. Oop. I'll take that. And I'll take that. I'll take all the other things. Why is there just one room? Where... Hmm? I'll take that. What are you cleaning? Are you just cleaning the floor? Okay. Oh, that was just a room. Whoops. Okay, I goofed. A little old leather. Can go there. Can go upstairs. Let's check it out. Hide out. Okay, this is my room apparently. Small key. Okay. Can I not see my... M oh, hi, Mom. Mother. Good evening. Jonathan! Is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, Mother. 
I'm finally home. Yes, but this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. Okay. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, Mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. Grandson? It's been days since their last visit. Uh... Do you think Avery is right? Do you think I should take better care of you? I don't blame you, but you abandoned me, son. A mother should not survive her children. It's unbearable to know you're not here anymore. Uh. I know I have failed you since I returned. I even watched you bury Mary from a distance. From now on, I will protect you. You have my word. You don't have to apologize to me, Johnny. Do you think I did not notice how much you have changed? Have I changed that much, Mother? Am I still your son? You are still, and you'll always be. Despite your pale skin, your bloody eyes, and that echoing sadness in your voice. Oh, that's very sweet. Do you need anything, Mother? Can I help you? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty, dead eyes. Okay, Mommy. Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous, and her name is of no importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her into my home. Aww. That's extremely cute. Why do you say Mary is visiting you, mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Yes. Why should it be any different with your sister? I don't. But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. I see. Okay, Mom. Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. Well. I'm gonna stay tonight here, mother, so I'm not going anywhere. It's kinda sad, but that's, uh, that's how life is. So I can't go in mom's room. I can't ever go in my own, so. I am going to end the video here. That being said, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit a like, subscribe for more, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, feel free to share the video if you wish. That being said, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!